Well, the Princess trial was designed to, uh, to really assess the effect of, of early, very early cooling in cardiac arrest patients. So uh, basically the patients were randomized at the site of the cardiac arrest to either pre-hospital cooling with a method that is aimed to cool the brain. So the cooling was applied during CPR and then in the patients that achieved ROSC, return of spontaneous circulation, those were transferred into the hospital with continuous cooling with this method, trans evaporative uh, cool, nasal cooling. Uh, and cooling was continued at the hospital to 33 degrees for 24 hours. So basically when this uh, intervention period was over, the, the, there was a standard ICU care and, and uh, then we assessed the outcome, neurological outcome, 90 days after the cardiac arrest. This was a European multicenter randomized controlled trial. So it included around 700 patients. Um, and uh, what we could see, we could see that, uh, and that is new, I would say, in this field, that you could cool the patients safely. Because previously, there's been uh, problems with, uh, with cold fluids that has been dangerous to the patients in terms of new cardiac arrest and uh, hemodynamic instability and so on. So this method proved to be safe, to cool patients, safe and effective. Uh, when we're coming into the, to the primary endpoint, which is cerebral, cerebral performance category scale 1 to 2, uh, we saw a different, 3.1 difference in favor of the, of the intervention, but it was not statistically significant. Moving further to the subgroups, we know that ventricular fibrillation is a very important subgroup in cardiac arrest. We can see a major difference. We saw an absolute difference of 9% between the groups, but we're near statistical significance in that group. So that were the two main results, I would say. Then moving over to, to, uh, to the different uh, neurologic categories, we could see that complete neurologic recovery, which is called CPC1, where you can go back to your daily activities, you can go back and stand like me doing this interview after cardiac arrest. There we had much more differences between the groups. So, uh, and especially in the, in the VF group, there were 13% difference, which was statistically significant. So we had a, a, a very interesting signal in the, in the VF group, I would say, on these patients. Um, okay, how would this be you know, received by the, the research society? Uh, and I think, I think uh, the VF group is always interesting because uh, that is the only group that's, that ever has been, you know, proved to be, to have an effect of, of uh, hypothermia or cooling of the body. So, so I think this is a, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a part, it will bring one more bit into this, to this field that if you want to cool cardiac arrest patients, especially with ventricular fibrillation, it's safe to use this method and it's also effective and it has strong trends that is, that is favorable for patients with ventricular fibrillations. Thank you.